So you've probably guessed by the title of the video, uh, this week we're planting lots of trees. Lots. We've also been doing some pruning, haven't we darling? Yes dear. <laughs> Um, we've also got something weird cooking up in the kitchen. I'll be laying a few more blocks and there's a lot more stuff going on with the animals and everything else. While clearing this bit, and just find uh, what did we say? It's a, a, it's a five toed, I think. Five toed skink. 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 So it looked very much like a slow worm, but with proper legs. And obviously a bit shorter, but absolutely stunning little lizardy things. So I shall <laughs> put them back in somewhere to hide now. So there we go, we've cleared this patch, we're trying to re rediscover the uh, vineyard that was here. Lots of bent wire and stuff, I went through with the tractor first, uh, with the our new implement on which has ripped the ground up and freed up a lot of the big, bigger um, rock roses we're pulling out, so that's, that works really well, really pleased with that. Unfortunately it's too wide to go between the rows of grapes. So that's why we've been pulling everything out by hand. But uh, the rock roses come out easy and then we can find the, the vines. And um, yeah, see how they go. We know this one here is a muscatel because our grape expert Ewan told us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it does really well every year. So, um, But there are vines all the way through here. Most of them are dead, but there are some that we can hopefully revive. And then we'll, put, we'll fill in the gaps, put new posts in, and make it a proper vineyard again. Obviously, Gilly's been supervising, and Quinn's been the great help he always is. Look at you, Quinn. Top of the up, I'm pretending to be asleep. So today we are planting uh, magnolia, camellia, um, laburnum, uh, Come on, bring elder and what's the fiery one? Bob 
brush plant. And the bottle brush plant, yeah. So we're planting all those ornamental, these are. They're all going up by the front entrance, which we cleared out. Uh, and then the other ones we've got going in is a bay. Uh, a replacement apple for one that died. Right, we'll take that one up as well. Yeah, a uh, walnut, a peach, and a plum. So lots of trees going in today. So here goes for the first one. This is where we had a Granny Smith apple, which died in the summer because of the heat, not enough water, etc. So we're just replacing it with a plane uh, with, with another Granny Smith. So yeah, I'll do that in a minute. This stuff is horrible to cut. Wow. Because it's like elastic key, it's really weird. I'm going to it down and try to get the tension on it. Better. Oh, got the root. <laughs> Angish. Horrible. Right, put that there in a minute. So there we go, Granny Smith in on her graft onto the rootstock. We don't know what the rootstock is, but uh, let's hope this one does well in this place. <laughs> These bits are um, bracken. Look. So here goes in the elderflower. So Anne's going to make elderflower champagne in about 10 years' time. <laughs> really poor soil in this vineyard. Uh, we think it's probably the barrage that's next door, the big tank uh, water pond we have. When they dug that out, they put all the stuff in here. Uh, hence, this is uh, very sort of gravelly, you know, granity gravelly. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to feed these a lot up here and the grapes as well. But, uh, yep, in she goes. And that's the uh, Magnolia Inn, which we forgot to film. Um, uh, Magnolia Stellata, is it? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's white. Oh, should be look, completely covered in white flowers in the spring. Yes, yeah, so there we go, Magnolia Stellata, one of my favourites. So in goes the laburnum. We're underneath here, we have lots of uh, fresh chicken poo and things, which we don't want to get too close to the plant. So, laburnum, another uh, poisonous plant. So this, we deliberately chose these trees because uh, this area will be no animals anywhere near it so you know a vineyard and then some pretty trees on the sides of it so out of flower done magnolia done and laburnum done bottle brush tree not done We've decided the grind is just way too hard the further we come this way. So we're gonna to have to relocate them. Better looking soil. Getting a bit lighter in the bottom there. And in this one we're going to put this camellia. It'll make our start to make our entrance to the house area look a bit more pretty isn't it yeah right. Right. a little bit of our chicken poo compost and then we'll put soil back over the top and then plant and plant Nick will, I'll just stand here and film him doing all the work. <laughs> Nothing new there. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to see you on your knees. Okay.
Well firmed in there, darling. Oh, yeah. Well, as we know, and I'll uh, top dress everything with some leaf mulch that I've got here as well. Yeah. There you go, camellia done. So, uh, bottle brush or calistamon done. It's a nice long. Can look like that in the summer, apparently. <laughs> it's longer, frondy <coughs> flowers on it, so. There we go. Yeah, so hang on. So, bottle brush, done. Granny Smith apple, done. Put some uh, old, but well, it's actually from, not last year, year before, it's olive harvest. So it's the olive leaves, they'll just make a good mulch around them. Push the mouse. Push the mouse. So, so we just had to get the tractor involved again to clear this area to plant the uh, walnut. Walnut, done! So, flat peachy thing, done. done. Unidentified peachy thing. Plum. No, plum thing, that's what was unidentified. Done. So, red fleshed lemon, yeah? So, uh, have, the lemons are green and they've got a red flesh inside when they're ripe. Bit weird, but there we go. Done. So, here we go. Our last tree this week is Andrew's trimming uh, cardboard to fit inside our Vegiga raised bed. This was the... Oh, I'm going to put up on the screen uh, Vegiga have a... Oh, nice dance. That would have been gold. YouTube gold. That, um, but we have a discount code for Vegigo. I'm going to put them down here. Uh, so you can go to their uh, many, one of their many websites. They have catalogs online, and um, yeah, order away, and we get, we we'll give you how much discount do they get? Ten percent. Ten percent. Ten percent discount off everything if you use our code Project Portugal. So there we go, a bit of cardboard in the bottom to uh, sort of retain the moisture inside and that will eventually rot away and create a, um, a bit of a compost, I suppose. Yeah. So next up, obviously, fill it full of a bit of horse poo in there as well, a bit of all sorts. This is uh, was kindly given to us by our friends Andy and Mandy, so thanks guys. Okay, so I've got a load of the leaf mulch, and that's the final dressing that's going to go on here. What I probably will do at some stage, we might get a few more strawberry plants or something just to put around, just fill this one up, but we'll let this one establish itself first, and then I can put a few more things around it if, it, if I feel it needs it. But it does look quite nice there, it's a solitary one. So I'm 
So, so that's that's the sweet bay done. So here we are at Cindy's, uh, just finishing off a few little things. So I've put a piece of board in here to stop the draft above the window. Just about to block this one up. Just about to block this one up and hopefully we'll have enough cement left over or mortar left over to block this up as well. All good. So we're having a few problems. Um, this girl has started to get a bit broody. She's showing the signs of it. Both the males we have left, Albert and Lucky, are getting a bit frisky and I've had to separate them because we had a big fight just now. So I think because of his huge size, uh, Albert might be taking a little trip to freezer land. Because um, to be honest, Lucky is in better condition so, and he's not too big because uh, Priscilla's not the biggest. Oh, it's hell up now. Priscilla's not the biggest, and we think Albert is around about in weight, probably 16 to 18 kilos. He's, he's a big boy. So, uh, just to clear things up, Albert did make the trip to Friesland, and what's left of him, so he was 23 kilos, and um, yeah. Uh, we had about 16 kilos of meat from him, which is now in the freezer, and the rest of him is in this big saucepan, making a lovely turkey stock. So yeah, all put to good use. What are you doing up there, you lot? Eh? Hey, what are you doing? What are you three doing? You have your babies. Have your babies, you. Hey. Go on, Georgie, jump. Like them wood, baby. So we are near the bottom of our land, uh, near a bit of woodland, mainly mimosa and pine. Um, I just want to show you this pond. Well, <laughs> this little piece that I dug out to see if it would hold water has now actually turned into a proper pond. Uh, there's lots of life in there, there's lots of pond weed and things. It's amazing how quick nature adapts itself. Another load of firewood keep us warm in cold winter nights.
Okay, so we've got this um, still from V4. Uh, we're going to put discount codes up along here somewhere. And uh, see their European catalog or their American catalog or the British catalog they've got online. Um, this is a still for distilling alcohol, uh, for making essential oils, etc. So what we're going to do is make some, or attempt to make <laughs> some eucalyptus oil. oil. So here goes. So first off, we've got to, we've got to, I'm going to strip all these leaves off here, these eucalyptus leaves that we got from Cindy Vine. And we've got a bag full here as well. I'm going to strip them all off and put them in, fill this with eucalyptus leaves. So there we go, I cut the whole lot up, uh, stems and everything, and shoved, shoved it all in. Um, and it's surprisingly still not completely full. But that'll do, back to the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is uh, fill that cold water, and we're going to put 10 litres of cold water in there. So there goes, that's five of these, 10 litres of water, a couple of gallons near enough. Um, so now we're going to put the heat on to raise, obviously that's got to be boiling so we get a vapour coming off and so here's the, uh, the tricky part, not tricky at all, we're going to put the lid on, it's got a seal around it. So that's now become like a pressure vessel, yeah? Uh, and the only way the pressure can come out is up this, you see the level of water, <laughs> is through here, through this copper pipe, and then it comes out this pipe here. And this will be, will have a mix of steam and water, yeah? And our distilled oil, hopefully. First time we've ever done it, but we'll give it a go. Uh, so, to make this work, this copper coil needs to be immersed in cold water. Uh, it has, I have a pump set up here with the blue retty, which I don't think I'll need to use. All I'll keep doing is keep adding, I'll take some away and then keep adding an ice cube in here every now and again. So that's that, much of that copper tube now filled, covered with cold, cold, very cold water. I'll put a little piece of tube on here so I can drain some off. I'll pop a couple of ice cubes in there periodically just to keep this coil cool. That's how it condenses the uh, steam. So I'm just going to add a couple of ice cubes. Yeah, I might drain some off. I'll just put this piece of pipe on here. Just don't want to okay, there we go. Cool. So, there's our setup now. We're on the heat. Uh, once it starts boiling, we should be producing, producing steam. We should go... Um, hang on. Start producing steam, which should come up through this pipe, through the coil, condensed, cooled down, and then come out here as a liquid. Uh, into our collection pot and then that will be liquid and oil which we'll have to separate at, at a later date but um, yep here it goes fingers crossed eh? <laughs> First time. <laughs> well something's going on. Really? It's really really <laughs> overpowering <laughs> smell of eucalyptus in here and listen Ooh. and we have our first that's Ooh, our first drops. Yeah. So there it goes. We, it, it's sounding as if it's running out of water to boil in the, in the pot. And uh, we've been putting ice cubes in, but the top of this, as you can see, is quite hot. Because that's where the hot water comes up from here. Or the steam, yeah. Or the steam, so it's hotter. So we're getting some, still getting a few dribbles going through, but it's sounding like it's running out of water in the bottom. But 
So look what we've extracted. You can definitely see a good layer of oil there, which is fabulous. Yeah. So what, Andrew's come up with a brilliant idea. Now we'll now put this, we'll turn this off now. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, Little final look carriage. At that. Yeah. <laughs> we will put this in the freezer. So the water will freeze, but the oil won't. And we'll pour the oil off into a little jar. And then we've got eucalyptus oil. And then we can do the same with mint. Orange, uh, orange skins. Oranges. Um, when the lavender is out in flower, we've got all the lavender we can do as well. So, so yeah, big thank you to Vivor. Check out, like we said, check out their websites. Um, I'll put links in here and the link in the description. And our discount codes. But, um, yeah, crack in Vivor. Uh, yeah, this works they, really well as you can see and you, and they you know masses of stuff on there in the catalog it's yeah. just like nearly anything you can think of vivor <laughs> vivor sell it yeah brilliant so the problem we've had um with this getting hot and keeping keep draining a little bit out and put nice cubes in the top etc to keep it cool uh if i connect i've done it all now I've got a 12 volt uh, running off the bluetti a 12 volt pump I need to get some more tubing and then we could just have a bigger tank of cold water circulating around through this all the time. So in there, out there, into the big tank. Um, keep recirculating that and that'll, uh, that'll keep it cooler and obviously then it'll work more efficiently. There's also a thing called a thumper tub which you could put um, beside this. Yeah, as, as in, yeah, there's a different, this two as in different the catalogue. So this one here it has two. This is called a thumper tub, and then you get this this uh, tub as well. So yeah. Go like that. So there's. Oh, there's a picture better. of the two. So we have this one, but this one it's got an extra tub on it, so to get a higher grade. If you're distilling alcohol, it would be a higher percentage of alcohol. And probably the same with the oils as well. And the same with oils, you get a, yeah. a better quality. So yeah. It's like a double distillation cool. almost. So yeah, we might get one of these. Um, to get a better quality oil when we make some more. So, as you can see, I've brought some blocks down to uh, continue with the block work here. Forgetting that I'd already done that a couple of days ago. 
But we still need these anyway, so.
Okay, so that's it, everybody. Um, that's it for this week. Cheers. <laughs> nice cup of tea. Cheers. Uh, have a cup of tea while we watch the sun go down. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and uh, ringing that little notification bell. Ding, ding. And don't forget to check that you are subscribed uh, and you are no you got the, the bell rung. Yes, there's still um, a few. Because we still have a few problems. Yeah. But thanks for your feedback on that. That was yeah. brilliant. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah, several of you were unsubscribed. Uh, so thanks for letting us know. And um, Thanks for resubscribing. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. And we still haven't had any more baby goats, have we? Hey, have we? No. No. So, Quinn has just come out the bath. And what what have you done? Look at you. Why are you rolling in earth, eh? Smells better than that shampoo <laughs> stuff. <laughs>